The Syracuse Orange are taking on the Duke Blue Devils in the Dome this evening, and students have been camped out outside for days in hopes of getting the best seats in the house. Our reporter Tegan Brown is live at the Dome with more on their camping experience. Tegan. Of the Carrier Dome, it is game day, and I know that right now it looks pretty empty behind me, but if you were here Thursday night, Friday night, this morning, there were about a hundred students camping out, getting ready for the Duke game, hoping to be the first one in the student section in a packed dome later tonight. Now, I spoke with the senior advisor of Otto's Army, Jonathan Danilich, about just how much Otto's Army and the student section has changed over the past years. We put in a lot of work. Um, everyone in the executive board has done a fantastic job. Thousands and thousands and thousands of students are going to be flooding into these gates later today. Like I said, hoping to be in that front row. But if you weren't one of those people camping out, you're probably not going to be anywhere near the front. Now, I spoke with Danilich also about, you know, his experience with Otto's Army, along with how the student section has changed. And here's what he had to say to the people who have contributed to that. Thank you. It, it, it helps. 7-0 and with students in attendance uh, for basketball this year, that says everything. I mean, 4-3 and three without us. We make a huge difference. That was one of our big social media pushes is be the difference, and we mean it 100%. According to Danilich, student tickets are sold out for this game, so you can't get any of those. But tickets are still available to the general public, and if you go online, you can probably still find some pretty decent seats. Reporting live ahead of the biggest rivalry in college basketball, Tegan Brown, Juice and Java. Guys, back to you.